Hello, welcome to another episode on my YouTube and my podcast. I'm Turquoise. That's my internet and spiritual name. My assigned name is Carol. How are you all doing? This is the second principle in Geismic. Gratitude was the first. The second one is integrity. Integrity could be a result of the first one. When we're looked upon with gratitude and not with grat gratification desires, when we're not treated as objects, and when we don't treat other people as objects, we will be more likely to walk and sit and stand with one another in integrity. Often we, as I said yesterday, we look upon each other wanting something from one another or not giving a darn about them. And we will often feel that way, I will feel that way about other people when I'm going somewhere, when I'm going out, or when I'm dealing with people in any way, shape, or form. I'll always wonder what people want from me or uh, how much do they really care about me if they don't want something from me. One moment. I have to hit the pause button. The dog's barking and I can't focus. Okay, I think the dog is finished barking. God bless him. Yeah, we've got dogs in our apartment building. I get distracted when I can't focus when there's noise in our apartment building. I can't always wear my earbuds either because uh, I've studied some uh, human behavior and when, we wear, when I wear my earbuds too long I feel disoriented. I, I suffer from uh, sensory deprivation. So I can't be overstimulated or understimulated. Okay, I digress. I got interrupted a little bit. Um, integrity. Um, being able to feel safe in the world and being able to uh, feel like we can protect ourselves and we can respect ourselves and be respected by other people. That was a classic example a moment ago. Um, my roommate and I have been telling the landlord that our neighbors we would like our neighbors to please be a little more, pay more attention to their dog's behavior. They bark a lot. They bark all the time. They startle us because they're loud. And they do distract us from the work we do here at home. We do, we do very intense work at home. And um, my job and my roommates, uh, well, and they're both volunteer jobs. They're both laborers of love, but they do get, we do get easily distracted when there's a lot of noise around us and uh, don't tell us to move because we're not in a position to move. So, um, integrity. You know, ideally, we should be able to... Hold on a second. Ideally, we should be able to live in an environment that's... Hold on. Excuse me. We should be able to live in an environment where we are feeling safe, where it's quiet. Not, not quiet, 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 silent but um, reasonably quiet, where we're not distracted all the time, we're not overstimulated, and we're not uh, bullied or picked on or seen as um, someone to be denigrated or treated derogatorily, if that's a word. Please excuse me if I'm butchering words here. So um, I made that uh, principle as part of my universal ethics code because uh, to practice ethics we need to be aware of people's feelings and needs even as uh, just just to be you know treat others as people as sentient beings with feelings needs and issues just like us and we need to be able to go out there and feel like people are treating us that way whether they're relating to us or not um, we're not objects we're not uh, just romantic interests. We're not just pity objects. We're not just uh, people to be kicked out of the way or uh, condemned. You know, we're, we all deserve respect and we all need to respect each other. I want to apologize for uh, the interruptions. But this is what we're dealing with. This is what I'm dealing with. Maybe this will be an example of what we need to be aware of in the world, what we need to be aware of in ourselves, our behavior, 
and our uh, the behavior around us. We're inter we're an inter interdependent society, which means we rely on one another respectively. Um, it's easy to get caught up in in, in uh, pseudo independence where we feel like we don't care, or we feel like uh, people around us are to be used, or we are to be used by others. That's an illusion, and that's not true, and that's not what God intended. Have a good day.